So you have a Squarespace website and you want to let people upload files to your contact form. But when you come to the form, you click edit, you go to add form field, you look through all of these options and you realize there isn't an option to let people upload files. Well, I'm here to help. There is a way to get it done. It's a, a system that was made by Square Websites and I'm just going to um, kind of reiterate so you can better understand how to get it added to your website. So the first thing we're going to do is go to this website. Um, I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Um, but the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign up. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Now this is a free, uh, free to use tool, but you can click donate and give them, you know, some donations for the work they put into this. So the first thing uh, we're going to do on this website is we're going to actually add our website so that we have permission to use this tool. So the site name, you can put in anything you want. It doesn't matter. The site URL is your domain name. So for example, it has to have the HTTPS um, or just HTTP if you don't have an SSL. Okay. And then the Squarespace site URL is what I like to call the ugly domain. So when you, when you're logged into the back end of Squarespace, it's whatever you see up here. Um, just copy everything before the config. So we're going to come over here and we're going to add this. So now you'll see that the uh, website appears on the right. If you have another website or, you know, you're a designer and you want to add multiple websites, you can do that here as well. But I just have the one for now. So now as soon as this is in, it means we have permission to use it. So let's go back to our website here and we do have to add a little bit of code. Um, so it's just one line and you can just copy and paste it. That'll also be in the description below. So we go to settings. So that's right here, settings, then advanced. Then we're going to go to code injection. And then in the header, we're going to just paste this code. Um, and then we'll hit save again. This code will be in the description and then we'll go back. So that's actually all there is to it. So now if I click on edit on the same, uh, same page I was on before, same form, now, if I click on add form field in the very top left, you'll see that there's an option for upload file. So if I click it, it does this. So upload files and it fills in a bunch of um, stuff that you don't have to worry about yet, just yet. Um, just know that it is working now so you can use it as it is. Um, but I'm going to make it required. So let me just explain what this is. So the second field is what I'll talk about first because it's easier. Um, so dot JPEG just means that people can upload dot JPEG files and .jpg is sometimes spelled out with an e as well so i'm going to uh, account for that as well .png in case it's a png image if if it's a gif image goes here and a .txt file can also be uploaded um, so i'm going to erase all of that just cuz i only want people to be able to upload jpegs for example so let me cover both and what i'm doing here is .jpeg comma space .jpg uh, comma space I'll also include PDFs actually. So PDF, there we go. So it's just dot and then next file type, comma, next com, uh, next file type. You don't need the comma if you're only going to have one. And then now we'll talk about this. So file field just tells the field that it's somewhere where people can upload files. So don't mess with that. Just leave that part alone. Max size is how big the file can be. So 5120 is five megabytes. So this isn't kilobytes. So 5,120 kilobytes. And the max file you can actually go up to is 10,000, um, well, 10 megabytes, so a little bit more than this. Um, but 10,000 kilobytes is the max file size you can ever achieve. Um, that's just, I, I believe it's so that their website doesn't get, you know, overrun while it's trying to be, while it's trying to upload that many files. So for example, if a lot of people are using it and somebody's trying to upload like a one gigabyte file, and also uh, because sometimes the browser does time out. So just keep that in mind. If you need anything more than 10,000, this solution won't work for you. Um, the word multiple here just lets people upload multiple files. Um, so, you know, if they have three or four different files, they can upload it. Again, all of those have to um, uh, match up to 10,000. Um, still, that limit still applies. So then add text, add your files is basically what the button is going to be called. So add your files with underscore as space. So we could change this to, for example, upload underscore your files here. So this can pretty much be whatever you want it to be. Make sure you use an underscore where there's supposed to be a space. Um, I'm going to make it required under storage. I'm just going to make sure it's going to my email address, which is right. I'll hit apply and I'll hit save. So now I'm going to put in, you know, test, test, and then upload your files. I'm going to click it. It'll open up this. I'm going to go to abstract. Now it's just a random image I downloaded. I'll even upload it twice. 
There we go. So just so that you can see that, you know, it supports multiple files. Then you hit submit and the form has been submitted. So if I go uh, over to my email inbox, you'll see that I just got the form in now. If I click it, it says somebody uploaded, you know, two files. I can see both of them here, um, name, test, test. So if I click the first one, it'll give me a download link and I can download the file that somebody uploaded. So if it's a PDF, I can download it to my desktop and look at it. Um, I can also come back to this website where we first made our account. Um, also, just just to know, once you've made the account, you never have to come back here again unless you you know want to look at something in particular. For example, if I go to uploads, this is the website. Um, so Octagon Mushroom is what I have here. So under that website, people uploaded two files. Uh, both came in on January 7th. Um, and this is the name of the file. So the only thing it doesn't tell you here is who sent it in. Um, that's why I prefer to look at the email that I got instead. So yeah, this is just files. The other thing you can do is if you don't want the files here, you can also connect your Google Drive, which is what I would do. So once you connect your Google Drive, it'll actually upload all the files directly to your Google Drive. So you don't have to worry about, you know, downloading every single file that's already saved into like a folder that you have. Um, and for that, you just click this button and sign in with Google. And um, I have done that as well, and it does work very well. So that's basically it. So anytime people upload files here, you'll get it right here. And you'll also get an email about it too. I prefer to look through the email again, just so you can track all the fields. Also, just uh, one more thing. Uh, this isn't limited to just contact forms. You can use it on forms throughout your website. So for example, let's say you have a shop where somebody you know has to upload a product because you're going to personalize a bottle or personalize a Christmas card, for example. You can actually click on the product, go to form, and then create new form and then you could um, do upload file here as well. So how that works is when somebody's on the product and they click add to cart, this will pop up, so upload your files and they have to upload a file before they can add to cart. So you can use it in that way too. So just keep in mind, it's not limited to just contact forms itself. Also, let's say you're not signed into this account and you click on this URL right here you will see this error message saying you can't access the file because you're not logged in. So make sure um, if you get this email on your on your phone, for example, and you never logged into this website, just go to this link again on your phone and then go ahead and sign in. And once you've signed in, if you go to that link again, it'll let you download the file this time. So if, if you're on a computer that you don't use often, just make sure you are logged into this website and you should be able to access those files. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So if this helped, make sure you guys like the video. Um, subscribe to the channel for a lot more videos that are coming up. Um, and if you have any questions, definitely just comment down below and I'll be sure to check up on those as often as I can. All right, have a great day, guys.